here we are once again. This is me trying to clear up the air with an apparent disgruntled YouTuber who watched my video in regards to the Craftsman Tools USA versus China uh, wrench review video. I seem to upset someone by saying that the Chinese made Craftsman tools were inferior to their USA counterparts in terms of weight, structural integrity, etc. And I'm not going to go ahead and put tools through a torture test, but when you have an inferior design and inferior alloy, you need more metal to make up for that. So, I'm going to go ahead and take the initiative to just go ahead and show you some physical attributes to start off between the Craftsman American line and the Chinese one. And right here I have just some 10 millimeter combination wrenches. These are the 12 points at the end as you can see. I've got a, an industrial Craftsman. see made in the USA and the industrial line is only USA while it's still around and this is a craftsman that I've had since the late 80s she's seen some ab abuse but still reliable and here is one that I have at my work Here's a 10 millimeter. China man. Oop, I mean, craftsman. <laughs> you get the idea. No USA mark. I'm just going ahead and comparing the heads directly to each other. I mean, it's pretty obvious right off the bat. Whoa, seems like we got some magnetism even. Uh, maybe not. But yeah, look at that monster head compared. I lay them on top of one another, try to space them together. It's fairly obvious we've got a disparity here. We've got one, the USA one I'm shaking right here. Profile is significantly smaller. I mean, this is 10 millimeters, so it's not really all that big to begin with. But taking a look at the box head, box end, this might be a little difficult for me to do since I'm doing this one-handed. Uh, maybe not. Okay. You know what? It's just not gonna, I don't think this is going to work. I'll just go ahead and hold them like this. So here are the two ends. You can see, trying to level them together, that the Chinese head is a significantly bigger. Profile is a lot smaller. Here's the box ends. I'll line them up together. And that the one, the one by my pinky is the Chinese one. And the one on the left is the American one. Somebody had complained, or I should say the same person had complained that, well, he said, oh, you know, you were comparing a Chinese tool in your video compared to industrial. So there's a big industrial automatically by default is going to be better. Well, industrial line was basically regular craftsmen with a better warranty because the standard craftsman tools like these after a certain point didn't warranty professional use. Although you really didn't have to say you broke your tool during professional use. If you did, they wouldn't warrant it. So, old Craftsman, standard, industrial, they're both the exact same. Just one was made later in the game than the other. This Chinese one, comparatively to both, they were both the same. This one is thicker. It's heavier, it's got a bigger profile. And somebody before had said, well, you were comparing six point to a 12 point wrench before. Well, that, that's irrelevant because I've got a 10 millimeter six point right here. This one's made in the USA. 
Again, it's the exact same profile as these. The only thing that's different is the box end. That's it. So you may say, well, that's 10 millimeter. Okay. Bada boom. The same phenomenon translates from baby to daddy. You got a big old meaty head, big old meaty box end, big old meaty box end, big old meaty head. Here's 18 millimeter, okay? <laughs> USA. This one's seen some abuse. I bought this one the same time that I got the, the 10 millimeter. Here's the industrial. Same thing as the standard. Is there a difference? No. Uh, between the industrial and the craftsman uh, standard, no. Between the Chinese made pr tools, yeah, they're. Why would you need more metal and a different head design if the alloys that were being used in China were comparable to the ones in the US? The answer is they're different. There is a difference. You use cheaper alloys, you need more metal, you need a thicker, heavier wrench to survive the abuse. So, I guess for anybody that cares, I hope that clarifies a few things, but if not, well, see it for yourself.